thank you guys for stopping in doing a little room tour with me seeing what's up um if you guys want to see oh spinny chair if you want to see more like vlogging style things let me know i've had a few people request them and i kind of enjoy doing them i'm just not really quite sure what i would do them on so with that being said if you have ideas hit me up and uh i'll get in on that so I thought you guys might like some uh, behind the scenes of how I do my videos. And I'm about to show you when YouTube gets creative. We'll use that. So uh, this is my desk and I'm watching Alexa Paletti because she's fucking amazing. And I just did my hair. Now my backdrop is actually a giant piece of fabric hung from hooks and binder clips above my ceiling and then this this is the shit those are christmas lights rigged up with paper clips and hooks to behind my screen so that it gives it that pretty sparkly effect that people love so much and uh there's a chewy cat and a tiki bird and an accent and a topaz bird and that is my makeup storage and a litter box because you know I'm classy like that. But uh, I thought you'd like to see how people who aren't professionals at YouTube do their lighting arrangements and such. So I thought you guys might like to see my little OCD heart at work while we're looking at some behind the scenes stuff. So this is my makeup storage and my production storage. I have drawers here, which I hold palettes, more frequently used and smaller palettes, most frequently used eyeshadows, loose pigments because I have a problem for loose pigments, and then generally like my blending shades and I have a couple of prismatics in here. These are less frequently used, special effects stuff, fake blood, box of glitter more glitter there's a lot of glitter in here most frequently used mascaras this is my least frequently used for eyeliners and more mascaras that are free less frequently used lashes and lash glue this little container i made that has sections for separating lashes my regular color lipsticks which we have neutrals and nudes pinks reds and dark reds and purples and stuff like that and then pencils and my favorite clear gloss and i have them pretty much organized for what i reach for first i tend to wear a lot of pinks so those are right in the middle so i can get to them and the other colors are kind of spread out here are my blushes and highlighters and contouring and actually, you get to help me put some stuff away real quick. I've got some contouring things that I don't use as often anymore, so we put those away. And then I've got some new blush to go in there. And new highlighters to go in there, because I just did a review video that you guys can watch. You can see how my happy little OCD heart works. Now we have foundations face creams, powders. This drawer is kind of a drunk drawer. It's mostly eyeshadows and kits and stuff like that that I just don't use very much. And then um, Walmart had a prismatic highlighter from the Trolls collection that I absolutely am in love with. And it was broken on the side, you can see there. So they had it marked down. I figured I'd grab it because I liked it so much. I'm sure I'll run out of it at some point. Some rainbow palettes. And then down here we have fantasy color lipsticks in lip, well, fantasy color lip glosses and liquid lipsticks, fantasy color regular lipsticks, regular lipstick colors that don't get used very often, so basically overflow. And we've got some gel eyeliners. So don't judge me because my desk is kind of a mess right now, but I figured we were doing this little room tour so I'd show you how it really looks. This is beauty blenders. This is in the wrong spot. Beauty blenders and 
a couple of face brushes, more face brushes, eyeliners and setting sprays, brushes, face mask toner sprays, my lovely Briar Horse collection, or at least part of it because I'm a hoarder. I am obsessed with tiaras and frog princes, so that's one of my buddies right there. I've got special effects stuff, extra lighting supplies, more special effects stuff. And then if we go over here, you can see my lovely tripod. I just finished filming, so everything's kind of strewn about. My backdrop that is hung from my ceiling. And you can see all these little clippy things all over my ceiling that I'm pretty sure my mailman thinks I'm really into like bondage and shit. That is how I hang up my variety of backdrops, which are mostly sheets or fabric from the craft store. And then over here, we have the peanut gallery whom you hear in pretty much every video. The big yellow one is Accent. She is a geriatric parakeet and she's amazing and sweet. She's our first bird. And then that little guy over there, that's Topaz. Topaz is our male parakeet and he is just the king of the hill. This is Tiki Tiki Tiki, who you've seen in some videos because she likes to participate. Hi, pretty girl. Yeah, you pretty? She's just annoyed at stuff. This is a box of things that is being sent to Typhoid Holly because she won our 2016 December giveaway. So there's all kinds of fun stuff for her in here that's getting shipped out later. And that's Choo Choo. That is Chudini, our kitty. And he is also my production assistant. He helps with the organization, the setup process, and making sure that my chair is never cold because as soon as I leave it, he makes his way into it. Oh, Choo Choo. You're your cookie. Yeah, you're your cookie. This is the rest of the production crew. This is Dauphine and Salty. Hey. Salty is the one that you often hear freaking out in the background. And Dauphine, I've had her since she was like five weeks old. So for the most part, she doesn't bug me. She's got stuff to do. She knows what's up. She knows I'm not going anywhere. Huh, Doffy? You go, girl. You sit. You wave. Yeah. Good job, smart dog. She's not a puggle. She's a Mullen's Feist. Everyone's like, look at the puggle. Not a puggle. Less puggle. But look at her. Look at that beautiful face. 